Welcome everyone. The message you need right now is today's Timeless Pick a Card. We have three options. Option one on the left, Lithium Quartz. Option two in the middle, Lapidolite. And option three on the right hand side, Amethyst. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Timestamps are in the description box. If you need more time to choose, you can pause the video now. See you there. Welcome everyone who chose this Lithium Quartz. The number 33 could be relevant and the number 6. What message do you need to hear right now? Okay, so first I see that you are connected to the Ascended Masters. Master number 33, you can go and research Master number 33. There's a message there for you. The number 6 is Venusian energy, so you could have Libra or Taurus in your chart. And with the number 6 being here, Venusian energy, I am seeing... Um, Prosperity, love, and abundance. I'm also seeing the number six, sixth house. So something about your daily life. Or something about your routines, your health. I'm seeing Virgo energy now. I'm seeing a Gemini energy. So I'm seeing Mercury as well. Third and sixth house energies. It's communication, Mercury energy. Something about communication that would lead to prosperity and abundance and love. Something to do with that. Something to do with your health and your daily routines is tied into this. Signs I'm seeing that I've seen that I told you, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, and Taurus. All right. What message do you need to hear right now? With this lithium, let's just keep stay here on the lithium quartz. There's a sense of harmony, peace, and joy, and everything being interconnected. The interconnectedness. Okay, so because we have sixth house, third house, we have... Um, abundance. So there's a tie here. I'm seeing a tie between your health, your money, and your love life, and your routines, and your daily life. Peace and harmony. Okay. What message do you really need to hear right now? Square. Okay. 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 I see. All right, I see. You're going through challenges right now. Okay. You're going through tension, um, pressure, frustration. But this is also, in, yeah. So the tension, the pressure, and the frustration that you're feeling, and I feel it's in your daily life, is, um, is almost like motivating you. There's, cer there's a certain struggle that you're going through, a certain challenge here. That is wanting to reorient you, to, to motivate you to work something out and break free from the struggles and the challenges. This tension is being created so that you can be aligned with more harmony or more harmonious daily life or a more satisfying daily life. So whatever struggles you're going through right now, it's meant to break you free and out of this, of something you're not um, aligning with when it comes to your daily life or your routines. You're feeling motivated to, you're feeling stalled in some way, you're feeling stuck or there's just challenges and obstacles here, struggles that are leading to frustrations, and the pressure is building up, and it's motivating you to break free. This tension is making you break free. Okay. We have the tear, so maybe you've been crying. The number 52 could be relevant, the number 7, because you had a spiritual awakening. But you're mourning something about... what you're breaking out of. There's a sense that you're releasing something that is is like, it's it feels like relief, but at the same time, it's mourning something that, as, see, something that you're used to, something that you're used to. There's some drama associated to this, or you're, associating drama to this in some way you're letting go of something and that is making you emotional maybe you're crying 
Oh, I see. So there's something about you, your emotions becoming such a buildup of pressure inside you that you release them and it, it, it takes you into maybe a conversation or a next level of intimacy and vulnerability that breaks through the challenges here. Maybe you need to cry if you're not allowing yourself to cry. Maybe you need to allow yourself to feel the emotions right now. Because there's something swelling up inside you that's creating such pressure and tension and frustration. It's been a struggle. It's hurting you. And you... You need to release this even through crying or a conversation so that you can feel at peace again. But you may be offering this some resistance, or maybe this is someone you're dealing with. Okay, take what resonates. Maybe you're offering some resistance to being vulnerable, or if you're the vulnerable one, and to be able to be fully intimate with someone, you have to also be fully vulnerable. And to be fully vulnerable, you, you have to let go of a, a big part of your ego. Or maybe this is someone you're dealing with. If you're, not, if you're the more vulner, vulnerable person, whatever this dynamic is, then this is your person who is cracking and becoming more vulnerable so that they can be more intimate with you. So someone here, there's like a, through tears, there's a softening of an ego that is opening up a portal to an untapped into reality, untapped into world. So whoever is allowing themselves to become more vulnerable, whether this is you or a person, there will be more intimacy between the two of you. And whoever is the person who is softening their ego and becoming more vulnerable is going to have access to a new world they've never seen before. Someone here is getting in touch with their humanity and humility. But there's almost like a... Um, and and it, this this person, whether this is you or someone else, got to this point and got to this breaking point because of the despair that all the pressure that was contained. And I just heard love wins. Love is winning over the ego. Love is winning over fear. Because not allowing love to f flow and being vulnerable and letting down the guard was creating such tension that it was painful to not allow the love to, f to flow, if that makes sense. It was creating drama. And clarity. Oh, like air to breathe. Yeah, this is about a relationship. This is about an intimate relationship with someone. I'm seeing air signs now. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this portal that the softening of the ego allows to go through and the unseen world that whoever has been in their ego and fear and, and not breaking down their walls to be vulnerable, that person is going to see, if it's you or uh, this other person you're dealing with, just how much you or they needed this, just like air to breathe for the soul. How this was dampening and stalling and keeping the soul completely muffled. It's an exchange of life bringing energies. Once this person, you or this person, whoever's been stubborn in not being vulnerable because of ego, because of fears, is breaking through the tension, feeling motivated to allow themselves through the, the vulnerability. And this will be the most life bringing experience and exchange that whoever is allowing this is going to feel and there's something about a kiss and communication and it's like you breathe life into each other but someone one of you was stopping this from happening and whoever was stopping this from happening is no longer going to do that because you need each other like the air like air to breathe otherwise your soul starts to what's the name when the when a flower loses its life there's something about a sense of sadness 
oh, I see what's happening here. So, it. sorry, before I, I get into that, I see what's happening here. What led to this breaking down and softening of the ego is that someone here, whoever was in their ego and their fear, felt the loss of the other person. And because of that, that was what motivated someone to want to be more vulnerable and have this exchange with the other. And, and once that is made possible, whoever this is, they're going to realize just how important you are to each other, or you're going to, to realize just how important you are to each other. Pluto, this is powerful. This is a powerful connection relationship. This is Scorpio energy as well. Someone could have in their chart. Eighth house, deep vulnerability, exchange of deep intimacy. Yes, both of them represent this. Scorpionic energy and Aries. Someone could have strong Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Mars, Venus, Mercury, North Node, Midheaven. Okay, just take what resonates strongly in both your charts here. But and this is what's going to make it possible to move forward and take action with this. And someone is really becoming more vulnerable, allowing themselves to be vulnerable and to take action. So there's a, a powerful transformation going on here in um, a connection that previously I see was being kept on the superficial level. Um, because of fears and ego on whatever side that was happening, maybe both sides. But now there's a, um, a decision to move into the depths because the pain of, because someone here was not, was getting tired of the depth not being there or being shared. And so someone here broke free in some way from this connection and whoever wasn't allowing the depth to happen had a change of heart here. And because of that, this is going to deepen to a level that I see the person who decides to be vulnerable will be kicking themselves and asking themselves, why didn't I allow this to happen before, is what I'm seeing here. But it's not going to be necessary because I feel whatever this is, is still salvageable. And the reason why I say that is because this is mutually felt. This is, you guys both feel this. So it's not like anyone's giving up on this. It's just that, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. There was some kind of separation here between these two people or an ending. But these two people that I'm seeing here are soulmates. But there was some kind of a separation or an ending here, and it was painful. But now what I see is that there's an ending to the pain. There's an ending to the pain. Yeah. Because this, this you're meant to win. It's meant to be victorious. This is going to be a successful relationship. This is going to be a successful relationship. But the, again, I'm seeing Six of Wands represents ego, and Ten of Swords represents an ending. So it's that there had to be an ending or there will have to be an ending to the ego. So that love with the Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups representing an offer of love or taking things to the next level can happen. And that's what's happening here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy could be strongly in one or both of your charts because ego, three of swords, was keeping everyone in pain and there was possibly even outside interferences here in this connection. With the three of swords... But it's, it's the end of the outside connection. There is um, out, outside inf interference of this connection, third-party interference. Third party could be a partner, it could be a friend, could be a work colleague, could be anything, okay? A boss, it could be anything. It could be work, could be money, could be uh, distance. But if there is a distance with the chariot and the knight of cups here, I see that bridging the gap here and the end of the distance. And that fear was keeping everyone in pain here. And that's what broke someone free from the ego. That's what created the motivation to break free from the ego and the fear because it was just too painful. But there's an ending to that. And there's a moving forward 
with that Aries energy representing, I'm seeing July could be significant here, and travel possibly, Ace of Materials, Ace of Pentacles, an ending that brings a new beginning, an ending that brings a new beginning, let me just put this up here, an ending that brings a new beginning, that could mean an ending of the distance, because we do have the Ace of Pentacles that represents material reality and uh, physical closeness, so there could be a relocation here involved in this, but this is a new, solid, long-lasting, stable beginning between two people. Page of Pentacles. This is this is new territory for one or both of you, especially the person who had the ego strongest. But there's a, a big deal of investment on both ends. This is the truth. Someone saw the truth. Someone had an epiphany through the pain and saw the truth about what this is, that there is love here and that there is an offer here because four of cups the pain of being separated or the pain of the dis this the the distance the boredom the dissatisfaction it just became too painful the longing and now this is coming in with the the hierophant the hierophant for a commitment a long lasting serious stable higher level commitment that is long lasting and the end of a tough cycle is approaching right the tough cycle in this relationship this is all about this relationship is approaching around something around the july again full moon in capricorn this is july season this is cancerian season first two weeks of july there's a closing of a cycle here of a lot of pain to start a new cycle of exchange and intimacy and taking things to the next level, proposals, travel, relocation possibly, to be together in life, like physically together for a commitment, a serious higher level commitment because you are higher level soulmates. And this is a spiritual, deeply emotionally felt and passionate connection and a very sensual one too. So if there's been a, a tough cycle between you and this person, this is ending around mid-July, first two weeks of July, okay? Now, it's not being clear if it's July this year, next year, but most likely I'm seeing within a year, because we do have the Ace of Pentacles for all of this to unfold. Maybe starting in July, ending in July is when all of this comes together, because I'm seeing planning here as well, so this is going to take some planning, whatever this is. All right. And that is all I have for you in pile one. It was a pleasure to read for you. Let me know how this resonates for you. If you feel this is not your message, choose another pile. Um, and let me know how this resonates. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. Extra content is on Patreon. Information for that is in the description box. If you like my healing bracelets, I make them myself. They are infused with energy healing. Um, the link is in the description box for that. It was a pleasure to read for everyone today. Have a beautiful day and see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome option two. You guys chose this lapidolite. So what important messages do you need to hear right now? What messages do you need to hear right now? So we have the number 32 here. Three plus two is also a five. So there's change. 32 is associated to the six of wands. So... I'm seeing a winning, a winning, a victory, peaceful victory, simple victory. <clears throat> Lipidolite is all about simplification, manageability, organization, one task at a time. You're going to win one task at a time. Change. Change will happen one task at a time, one organized thing at a time. So there's a message coming through that if you want change, you need to simplify by prioritizing, then tackling one task at a time by order of what you can do, leaving for later what is less of a priority and what it is that you cannot do right now. So there's always things that we can do and we can't do in the present moment. And tomorrow that changes. Sometimes something we couldn't do today, we can do tomorrow. So first things first is prioritize on the list. Then through those priorities, there's going to be things that you can and cannot do.
So it's on the priority list. You go through all the things you can do, and then you come back to the things you can't do once that unblocks. There's something about this going on here and simplifying the whole process by doing this. But it seems like the message coming through that change will happen once you simplify your life by taking it one task at a time and the way you organize and the way you manage things has everything to do with how successful this will be. Whatever that is for you, whatever you want to be successful at, it could be anything that you would want to change and be successful at. Um, because right now maybe your attention is on too many different things and it may be distracting yourself from the focus, from the thing you want to focus on. And maybe you think you can't tackle this because of all the distractions, but you can. You can find time for this. <laughs> Sorry. Venus, love. Oh, okay, so this could even be about a love situation. But with Venus being here, it could also be about prosperity, okay? So take what resonates. It, it's whatever you want to change, right? It's whatever you want to change and be successful at. It could be love. It could be money, right? It could be beauty. It could be... Um, some um it could even be some um court case it could be wealth it could be something to do with even your style or whatever this is it's the change you want is is going to take simplifying prioritizing and taking one one task at a time okay okay with venus here we have taurus and libra energy possibly now, with the number five, we also have mercurial energy, which could signify Gemini and Virgo. And the fifth house could also signify Leo. But there, again, fifth house is about passion, inner child, ch children, uh, fun, lightheartedness, also business maybe, and gambling. So maybe this is going to require, at some point in, in, in the organized structure, is there's going to be a point where someone has to... Take a leap of faith or a gamble here, and that is always based on intuition. Okay. Um, there's something about romance or harmony that you want. Uh, maybe a glow up that you're wanting or that you're trying to achieve. And again, the whole message here is that that change is possible if you take it one task at a time. But it's possible. You have the village. Okay, maybe it takes a village. Maybe it also takes asking for support or help, right? Because on your task list or on this on this list of things that you have to do, there are things you can do on your own, but there are other things that maybe you can get support from other people in some way, shape, or form in any, in any step of the process, in any step of the way. There's always ways you can get support from other people. Now we have the number 41 and the number 5 again. We have the number 5 now again. So 55, master number 55, angel number 55. Change is happening. You want change. I feel you want change and change is happening and change will be successful. Maybe you're worried if change will be successful. Maybe you're wondering if you will be successful with the change you want to make. Maybe you're wondering, am I going to get the support that I need here? Okay, maybe these are questions on your mind. Now, the number 41 now represents the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups represents a cup that is full of love, a cup that is pouring over, overflowing of love. And we, and we have love here. And there's a sense of self-love, also needing to prioritize self-love in the midst of all this. But it could also be something about, um, what, what's the word, renewed, um, a renewal in a love situation or a new emotional beginning. It could be something to do with new love or a very strong love. Um, okay, see... I try to stay away from love readings, but anyway, the village, 
Maybe this is not just about love. This could be about prosperity, okay? And something to do with prioritizing your self-love will also open you up, open up avenues and support from other people. The more you love yourself, the more you're showing other people how to love you. The more you nurture yourself, the more you're setting the example of how you want to be treated by others. And so this could also have something to do with your path toward prosperity and even career opportunities, okay? But with the Ace of Cups here, a new emotional beginning, self-love. Okay, uh, for some of you, there could be someone you've met recently or you know through other people, through a community, a common community of people, um, and there's love there. Let's see what we have. What? what a, yeah, something about family as well, or tribe, or your hometown, home country, where maybe there could be a love situation there, or maybe... There is an opportunity there for work. Maybe you feel restricted by family or something. Maybe you're worried about gossip in your village or in your community because of a change here and maybe because of love or because of... For some of you, the gossip is that you're looking really good. And for some of you, you're looking really good for your age. Others of you are worried that there will be gossip if there is change, if there are changes here, because people are used to seeing you in your in the box that they put you in, and it feels like restrictive. But it's also about feeling at home here, a love that feels at home. Working from home, some of you are going to be working from home or that's a change you want to make. Or there's a change like as in being with someone who is not accepted by your family or something like that. Feeling like home, returning, nostalgia. For some of you, you're thinking about returning to where you use where you're from, or there's a sense of nostalgia here. Okay, because that be for some of you, you want a reconciliation. So many things coming through in pile two beauty. Okay, again, if you're wanting a glow up, other people are going to notice how beautiful you are, or because. And it's an inside-out beauty. It's not like something you've done from the outside out. It comes from inside and it glows outside. So it's something to do with how lovely you are, how graceful you are, how, in, how the integrity, your, your values, and how you really respect yourself. It's, like, it's about self-respect and self-love. So there's a journey of self-respect and self-love here that could lead to greater love, to more love, to romantic love, to support from others because they notice and you're like an example of self-love and self-nurturing. And people are starting to notice this. And it's that's your victory. It's if you take these steps, if you take these steps, you will get there. That's your victory. Or someone is going to find you particularly beautiful, graceful, lovely. They like your morals or your values. They, they align with yours or they really like who you are and what you represent. And there's a new love brewing from this possibly or a new beginning in love because of that, because of the emotions. There's something very beautiful here brewing, brewing under the surface for you. And the thing is, you're going to get support. You Maybe you, you, you feel you're not going to be supported, but you are. The fool, but this takes a leap of faith. Yeah, this is going to take courage, whatever this is. It seems like it's going to take courage. Did, did we see courage as being a theme here at all? Yes, I think so. It's going to take courage, a leap of faith. To change, to change something.
Okay, so for some of you, it's the courage to sacrifice certain habits so that you can experience an external glow up due to health improvements. Okay, it could also mean being taking a courageous step toward love to make changes, even though it may go against what certain people want for you. Five of Pentacles. There's a fear. It, it seems like there's a fear of change here. You, you're experiencing a fear of change. You're wondering if you take a leap of faith, is it going to lead you to your dis, like your downfall or something? And that's the fear that you're struggling with. And by the way, Six of Wands can represent the ego. So that is your fear. That is your ego. That is not coming from a place of love. But I see love trumping all of this. Five of Pentacles. Maybe you're dealing with um, financial constraints right now. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? And the five represents the change again to the ten. Are you kidding me? Okay, guys, let me just say. That leap of faith that you're so afraid of taking is actually taking you from the five of Pentacles to the ten. It's going to double your income, double your stability, double your health, double your wealth. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. The change is necessary and you feel it. It's it's leading you, the change is leading you to stability. And maybe you're wondering if the change is leading you to something unstable. The change is leading you to something stable. Nine of voices. The only thing getting in your mind is your own mind. Or getting in your way is your own mind. Is that devil in the mind? Is your ego? Your thoughts can create self-fulfilling prophecies. So be careful what you're thinking because that's what's manifesting. Two of materials, again, confirming what I just said. Careful what you th you're thinking because that's what's manifesting. See, your fear is that you will... But see, center is the Ten of Pentacles. That trumps everything. That is the, that is the energy available to you. But you're worried that if you take a leap of faith, you will be in the Two of Pentacles, having to manage very little resources. And you're worried that you won't have enough financially when you will. And this is what keeps you up at night. This is what worries you the most. But it's basically saying it's all in your mind. King of Cups. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy could be somewhere strongly in your chart, possibly Aries. You want to take a leap of faith because your your heart is telling you to take a leap of faith and his eyes are closed. So I have to say your intuition is telling you to take a leap of faith. Okay? And taking a leap of faith implies courage and courage means taking action from the heart space. So these two cards go along very, very well. Your intuition is telling you this. Your intuition is telling you, two of wands, to look into the future and come up with a plan. But when you do look into the future, what happens is that when your your mind comes in and weighs in over your heart, the, is telling you that the future looks bleak and looks penniless if you make these changes. When, again, the whole reading starts off with, this change can happen, it will be successful, you have to take it one task at a time. So planning the task at a time is what is going to make all the difference not focusing on what can go wrong knight of cups there's something that your heart is so tied into for some of you okay now this is away from this other message this the bigger message someone is going to propose to you for some of you you're getting a marriage proposal or you're taking things to the next level with someone, like moving in, relocating together, whatever. Being together or um, getting married. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing an age gap as well. And I'm seeing possibly a physical distance because we do have the, the globe here and a van and we do have the two of wands which could represent a physical distance. Different cities, different countries, different whatever. And maybe the change could have something to do with this strength. There is a strong bond here between two people. But it's like you hold yourself back because of your fear. It's your fear that holds you back mostly. But strength means courage as well. The strength card represents courage. 
So to have the courage, planning is needed. Planning will help you feel more confident. And as you feel more confident, you feel more courageous. You take the leap of faith. Page of Cups. This is new territory for you. But again, your heart is fully involved in this. For some of you, you're going to have a child with this person you're going to marry. Okay, that's just the sequence that I'm seeing here. And it's a um, masculine child, okay? For some of you. There's a strong bond here. And now, okay, let's go into the business because I'm just being shown love here, but let's go into the business side of what this could mean for you. If you make a plan, okay, so I'm seeing something very specific. If you make a plan to follow your heart and your intuition, to allow yourself to do what you love and make money off it, especially if it's in a different company or a different house or a different city or a different country or a different continent, this will go very, very well. And you feel it. I'm just confirming what you already know. If you, if, if you don't uh, uh, resonate with this, this is not your pile. You, conf you already know this. It's going to be a lot more successful than you think. It's going to be very successful is what I'm seeing here. It's just the only thing holding you back is your own mind and how you think. Because your thoughts that you project out into the universe are creating your current reality, which may be a reality that you don't like. Your words, the words that you speak out of your mouth are spells that you're casting on yourself and your life. Okay? Okay. It's the only thing keeping you. And I feel that's the message you need to hear because the potential, if you allow yourself the change, if you take the step, you know what? If you don't want to like, con okay, if you don't want to say, I'm changing this, I'm doing this, just organize yourself as if you would. Just get organized as if you would and make the decision once you have all your ducks in a row. You may even decide not to make the change. But at least you have taken care of the things you needed to take care of instead of leaving it to the last minute because you don't believe in it. And then there's a heck of an opportunity and you don't take it because you didn't prepare. You won't forgive yourself for that. Now again, I cannot tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you, make the change, make the change. It's going to be so good for you. Yeah, I have to be responsible and I have to tell you, look, make the change if you want to make the change, when the, the time is appropriate to make the change. But if you don't get organized, you won't have the option to make the change if you want to. Basically is summing up this whole reading, whatever it is. And don't let pride get in your way. Don't let your ego and your fears get in your way is what basically this means. There is a closing of a cycle around... February for you, okay? I'm just going to put it like February. There's a closing of a cycle. In, in this situation, whatever the situation is. 12 could be significant. Letting go and surrendering. Okay. Ooh, Uranus. Something's going to happen out of the blue unexpectedly. Maybe an epiphany. And we have Virgo. It will change your daily life. It's, um, it's divinely orchestrated. It's like divine intervention here. But don't count on divine. I feel it is that get prepared because luck is going to knock on your door. Now, if this is luck about money, love, whatever it is, an opportunity to relocate, whatever it is, you have to be prepared. Luck does not exist without preparation because luck is a combination of preparation and an opportunity. This is basically saying that the opportunity is coming. Within the next 12 days, 12 weeks, 12 months, or around February, there's an opportunity definitely coming. But if you don't take those steps, meanwhile, you won't be ready for it. So it, it, you won't be lucky enough to be able to take that opportunity, whatever it is. Wow, very interesting reading, guys. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. Extra content is on Patreon. Information for that is in the description box. If you like my healing bracelets, I make them myself. They are all infused with energy healing. And if you like those, you can go and check the link in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for everyone today. See you in the next one. Bye. Till next time.
Welcome. Option three, you guys chose the amethyst. What message do you need to hear right now? The number four could be relevant. Cancerian energy could be in someone's chart. Getting organized may be necessary. Having healthy routines and habits. An amethyst letting go of bad habits. Letting go of addictions, codependencies, toxicity. Hmm. Something about dreams and sleeping, needing to relax. Lavender is coming through. I just heard Amy. Thistle, milk thistle, milk thistle coming through. That is a liver cleanser. Is someone doing a liver cleanse? Thigh. Thigh and thigh. Someone's reading Shakespeare or something. Thighs, your thighs, something about thighs? Aim, ami, ami, um. Uh, Portuguese, love. Love someone. It's like ordering someone to love. So maybe you're being told just love. ET. High Street. I just heard High Street. Is that in London or something? High Street. Thames, I heard the Thames, Thames. Me, 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 me. Meth, who's dealing with meth? You need to let that go. Or someone you know needs to let that go. Me, 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 me. I'm just hearing me, me, me. Why am I hearing this? Thighs, thy, high street. Meth. Me. Oh well, we could be here forever. Um, initials in your names could be A, M, E, T, H, Y, S, or T. You may have some habits that are unconscious that need to be released are old patterns of behavior or thoughts that are actually keeping you high. It's like a drug and it's not good for you. It's like an addiction, an addictive way of doing things, an addictive way of thinking or addictive behaviors, addictive thought patterns. And maybe this is unconscious because it's so familiar, because maybe you've seen this in your family, or maybe you've been doing it for so long that you don't see anything wrong with it, or other people you know are doing it so you don't see anything wrong with it. It's like somewhat culturally accepted, but it's not good for you because it's toxic. Stop surrendering to the familiar. It's, it's wrecking you in some way. Autopilot. Someone here is an autopilot going through life robotically. What you really need is rest, but instead of resting, you're overcompensating with some form of thinking pattern, addiction, uh, codependency, behavior. Or it's like you keep doing something just because it's familiar, but it's not good for you because you're not really examining your habits and how they're connecting to maybe stuff that needs healing or how they're connecting to other outcomes that are not so good. Maybe you're overdue for a new routine here. Maybe it's a small, simple shift that's gonna make a huge difference. Or it could be a big shift, it depends on who you are and what's going on. What habits could you begin to develop today to build your security and increase your prosperity? Are the habits that you have today really, really helping with that? There are some old habits that need to be replaced that should have been discarded a long time ago. So amethyst is coming through to make you conscious of your habits so that you don't fall asleep on your potential. It's time to transform and heal because 
something about your habits, e either a way of thinking or things that you do, are getting in the way of your potential. There's so much more that you could achieve or experience or feel that you're not because of whatever this is. And it could be an addiction. And addictions, they could be like an addictive way of thinking, a substance. It could be a way of navigating relationships. It could be sex. It could be... There's a need to replace one bad habit at a time. So again, I feel there's a message in option two for you guys because that was about small steps. So I feel option two is like... You either came from option two or you're going toward option two after this reading. Maybe you had felt drawn. Yeah, there's a need for healing or you're doing a lot of healing right now. Maybe a lot of crying. So crying came out in option one. There could be messages in both one and two for you. It's like you're going through a growth spurt right now and whatever you're doing that is not good for you is starting to really, really hurt. Really, really hurt. All the things I mentioned before, just take one of those, whatever you know is you, that needs to be released so you can grow and you can heal. So it's like you're at a, a, a threshold and a tipping point and a crossroads when it comes to your personal development that you can either keep going down that road or you can go the high road. Again, the high street. Take the high road. Are you going to be your best version or are you going to be your worst version? And if asking yourself the question, should I do this? Should I continue doing this or not? Always ask yourself, is this leading me to my worst version? Is this leading me to my best version? And you will have your answer. Because there's a sense here that what become familiar, you became familiar with, could be either, again, something you've done for a very long time or something you, you saw happening in your family. So there's a need to heal generational trauma and ancestral karma here. You're the one who can break this chain. And you're being given an opportunity to heal. But there's, I feel there's like a, a, a catalyst to this healing. We have an offering. Yeah, something was offered to you. And this offer wasn't just any offer. Behind this offer was your opportunity to heal. And again, now go back to op to option two because there was an opportunity there as well. So there's an offer here that is going to lead to your healing or it already has jump kicked, jump started or whatever you say, the process of healing. But it's up to you to continue and to take this offer and fully heal or just scratch the surface and see what it is that you could have healed, who you could have become. So we have the number 64 here, could be significant, as well as the number 10 and the number 1. There is a gift. The present moment is, a, is your gift to stop the pattern, to release, and to substitute. Now is the time. If you're dealing with... Um, a thinking like blocks in your thinking then you have to if you're thinking like if your own mind is blocking you you can use my affirmation meditation to raise your vibration and my self-concept aff affirmation meditation to improve your self-concept so those two there This offer could be coming from someone, like as in a form of a friendship or a relationship. There's something bigger that comes with this person offering you this, and that bigger is healing, is your own healing, your own personal development, your own softening of the pain, your own healing. And, and it comes with superpowers. It's like giving you the opportunity to tap into your superpowers. But there's a hand here. There's a human hand. So this has to do with a person. There is a bigger picture that you're not seeing when it is when it comes to releasing this toxicity, whatever this here is. Take time to meditate to consider exactly what is being offered here and whether you want to receive it. I'm not saying overthink it. Really meditate and 
the, and just think about what this offer actually really is, because it, it can come disguised in many ways. But there's, you feel an attachment to something, and that's what makes you hesitate. Otherwise, you wouldn't hesitate. And then you make excuses not to take this offer. Because this offer is coming from the greater good, and it's coming here to lighten your load and help you heal. It's generous. The universe wants to be generous with you. But you'll have to sacrifice some kind of toxicity. And it's not really a sacrifice if you think about it. Receive. You're being encouraged to receive this offer. Allow yourself to receive. You're not allowing yourself, but you want to. And allow yourself to give back as well. If there's a need for an exchange here, receive and give back the number three, and that's the only way you will make progress. Okay, let's just do the tarot first. Yeah, right now you're just feeling burdened, overwhelmed, overworked. Um, you feel like you have to do everything alone. You don't know how to delegate. You don't want to delegate. And so you feel like you have to carry everything on your back. And this could be causing you too much stress and it could be causing you to enable other people to just keep doing what they're doing, not grow, keep being toxic, staying toxic while you carry, you know, all the weight on your shoulders and you put your head down and work and you carry this, these burdens without saying a word and whatever. And it's blocking you from seeing this offer or accepting this offer. I just heard that someone's purposely keeping you busy so that you don't have time to contemplate any other offers. This could be a work situation. This could be something else. Hi, Priestess. Your intuition is already on this. Your intuition knows. You know that something here is not right. Pisces energy... Gemini and Cancerian energy, Knight of Materials, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This offer comes with healing, but also comes with a, um, a seal of prosperity that is stable and long-lasting. Slow and steady wins the race. You already know that whatever this is that you need to heal from is... And you know what? The more burdens you accumulate, the more you do for others that they're not doing for themselves, the more that you carry the responsibility and the weight of everyone, the more you're turning to toxic behaviors and thoughts. So it's keeping you in like a hamster's wheel in a cycle. But your intuition is telling you you can free yourself from this. And something about this offer also helps you free yourself from this. Someone is offering to lighten the load with you and to help you heal and get you out of the cycle. And the offer is very stable, very prosperous, and very long-lasting, very loyal. It could be a job offer or even a relationship or a friendship. Queen of Materials, as I said, the offer is very stable, long-lasting, loyal, and prosperous. Even healthy. It's a very healthy offer. That's why you're being encouraged to receive it. And you know, your intuition knows. It's just your fears hold you back. Yeah, your fears hold you back. Your responsibilities hold you back. Or the responsibilities you perceive are yours that you're not sharing with those who also share the responsibility, if that makes sense. Your mind is getting in your own way. You're stuck, but it's because of your mind because you're not really stuck. You can free yourself. Two of Cups. There's a reciprocal mutual love here in the offer for you. Someone who is a kindred spirit. Now this could be a friendship or it could be an actual romantic situation. But you're walking away from your intuition right now. You keep walking away from your intuition and walking away from this true, genuine exchange. True friendship, true romantic relationship, whatever this is, you keep walking away from the genuine thing. You keep walking away from your intuition. Because the habit here is 
I gotta do what I'm familiar with. There could be a better job out there, but I'm familiar with this. There could be more money. There could be more happiness. There could be a situation that is better for everyone. Three of Swords. By walking away from your own intuition, you keep yourself in the pain. If you're entertaining too many people, that's what's causing pain. Because you either don't know or because you walk away from your intuition or you're trying to please everyone and not hurt everyone or anyone. Two of voices and you keep yourself stuck instead of being your highest version. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Follow your heart. Your intuition is telling you something. Your mind is blocking it. The problem is here, maybe you don't believe in miracles or maybe there are certain things that you just deem impossible and you stop them from even happening just with the thought that it's impossible. Maybe try thinking something different and you may even see signs that something that you thought is impossible is actually very possible. It may be rare, but it's still possible. It seems like the way you're thinking is blocking something here. And it's the only thing blocking it. The moon. But, of course, our, our thoughts are run subconsciously by, you know, unhealed parts of ourselves. Or subconscious triggers from our childhood or from previous experiences or from observations of what happens around us with other people. Six, our habits, our routines, what we become familiar with. But with Sagittarius here, you're being called to expand beyond the familiar right now. Because the universe is wanting to be generous with you, but you have to accept the offer, whatever this is for you. I don't exactly know what this is, but I feel you guys do. Um, for some of you, there's an offer for a, a better job or to have your own business or just a better situation in general. And you know what this is. Okay, guys, that was your reading. I hope this was helpful. Um, and again, please, if you are doing something with substances to your body, just know that if you're not being able to recognize opportunities for what they are, if you're denying your intuition, it's because of those things that you're doing or not doing or thinking or, okay? It's whatever toxicity you're entertaining that is not allowing you to align with what would be your highest timeline. It's the very thing that is not allowing you to believe in the impossible. Because you're too drenched in and enmeshed with uh, so-called reality. But it, it's not the reality you created. It's the reality that other humans before you or around you are creating for you. What do you want to create? Do you want to keep creating that reality or do you want to create another one? Maybe you believe it's impossible to create another one. But it's actually quite possible is what this whole reading is saying here. And I feel if you watch options one and two... It will make a lot more sense what I'm saying. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, it was a pleasure to read for you guys. Let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not, choose another pile. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more for extra content. There's Patreon information for that is in the description box. If you like my healing bracelets, I make them myself with infused with energy healing. Information for that is also in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for everyone today. Have a beautiful day and see you in the next one. Bye.